Sheffield-based engineering company Dormer Tools is one of a number of historic city organisations which have come together to create something unique and special for the region. Plans are being made to create an 8 metre high stainless steel football close to where the Tinsley Towers used to stand. Bringing together two exports Sheffield has given the world, stainless steel and football, to provide a very special piece of art as a gateway to the city. Um, the project was a concept um, we at Sheffield Football Club recognised as the world's oldest football club. I had set a foundation of uh, working with FIFA to secure the football club's future for 150 years hopefully. And part of that is a relocation of the football club back to its original home which is in the city centre. And I came up with a concept alongside Richard Caborn and an academic called John Wilson of commemorating that really on, on the side of the motorway where we used to have a, a great big steel bull. Um, we thought it would be a great idea now that bull's gone to replace something um, like a football that represents the two greatest products this city's ever produced, which is football and, and steel. Uh, and you know, we have produced the biggest, or, or we did find the biggest global game in the world here, football, um, and obviously in years gone by recognised as as, you know, the biggest steel producer in the world as well, and I think that deserves recognition, and I think the city will buy into it. Well, I don't think it can do any harm for the city of culture to have something, you know, right on the uh, gateway to the city, really. Um, 2013, you know, is a way away, and we could, uh, we could help um, get, it, get the ball rolling, so to speak. To generate interest in the project, Dormer Tools is creating 50 miniature sculptures out of stainless steel, each are individually numbered and come with a certificate of authenticity. On the base of the stainless steel football is an inscription marking the invention of stainless steel by Sheffield born Harry Brearley in 1913, along with the logo of Sheffield FC, the world's first football club. The football also features the logos of all the Sheffield based companies involved in the scheme, including Dormer Tools, ELG Metals, Utacumpu. Mott MacDonald and Davy Markham. So what's been the reaction to the miniature stainless steel balls? Oh absolutely fantastic, everybody wants one. Um, so we're using it to raise some money for, we're going to come up with some, some professional fees, planning and legals of course, so you know they've been manufactured kind of by Dover now to raise that funding. But certainly getting the, um, the profile out there, we announced it at Sheffield FC's annual dinner at the end of 2009 and, and we sold 10 straight away so they're being held back a little bit at the moment because they're a bit of a collector's item now.